Beamish Murphys, two iconic stouts born and raised and brewed in Cork. But which one's better? I went down to Cork recently in what had to have been the stormiest, wettest, rottenest day. Jeez lads, we really picked a fucking beautiful day in Cork to do this video. Jesus Christ, like a drowned dog. But we don't take days off because of the weather. We don't call in sick. I have a very important job to do. So I've always felt like since I went to Cork about two years ago, I tried the uh, Beamish and Murphy's vaguely. I feel like I never really gave them a fair shake. This is a channel dedicated to stout. And after Guinness, Beamish and Murphy's are the two biggest stouts in Ireland. So I made my way down to Cork. But it wasn't cheap lads, the price of the hotel, the price of diesel these days. And that's why I'm very lucky to have sponsors like Manscaped. And that folks is how we segue. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. If you want to support the channel lads, you support the sponsors. And I say here, contracts up a few more Bob yet. Yeah. Manscaped are the best in below the waist grooming. And now they've actually decided to venture above the waist with the Beard Hedger and the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. For the last few years, I've been shaving my beard with the same razor that I shaved my balls with. Gross. So thank God the Beard Hedger is here. Pro Kit has a beard balm, beard oil, beard shampoo, and beard conditioner. No messing now. And once you get the beard in order, then you can worry about the deforestation downstairs. There's three or four different packages to choose from. There's a new one, the Perfect Package 4.0. It's no nonsense, it's the Lawnmower 4.0, the Crop Preserver and the Crop Reviver, plus the free pair of boxers. And Manscaped have also brought out the Weed Whacker 2.0. And you know the drill, lads. Go to manscaped.com, use the code PINTS20 to get 20% off, plus free shipping. Support the channel by supporting the sponsors. Over to you in Cork, Dara, take it away. All right, lads, I'm here on a beautiful day in Cork to pit these two stouts against each other. Let's see which stout is the king of Cork, by. All right, lads, this is just ridiculous. So I've just fucking dredged. I'm here outside the Oval here in Cork City Centre. I was here in 2021. I had a decent, solid pint of Guinness, but I've heard they've got creamy, beamy, and magical Murphys in here. So let's see what these pints are all about. So this is Murphy's. Yeah. And would you pour them the exact same way? Yeah. Well, depending on the head. Guinness as well? Uh, depending on the head size. So you kind of just judge as you go? Yeah. Would you say they come out the exact same flow and all that sort of stuff? Essentially, yeah, the beams and the Murphy's do anyway. Yeah. And this is quite a bit more gassy here. They poured well anyway. Lads, fair warning before we get into this. The rain plus the light plus the fact that I'm a bald fuck has absolutely screwed me in this shot. It looks like I have a fucking comb over. I think it's time to shave it soon, let's be real. Enjoy the video, you've been warned. All right lads, gonna give them another second to settle. We have the, the Murphys on my left, your right, Beamish on my right, your left. Both look absolutely beautiful. Domage to beat the band, pure creamy looking heads. The Murphys glass, so I think this is just a regular glass. It's not like a branded Murphys glass. I mean, this is obviously a branded Beamish glass but the Murphy's glass is slightly taller and kind of possibly narrower than a typical Guinness glass. I presume this is the typical Guinness glass um, that the Beamish is in, but it's hard to know. It's only about a couple of millimeters taller, but you can, it very much looks taller and skinnier. And then this looks like a little stout yoke. So I'm gonna go Murphy's first. Slancha lads, where better to try it than right here in Cork. Yeah, definitely not a million miles away from Guinness. I better drink the Beamish pretty much now as well. Even though I'd rather give it a minute, I better drink, drink the Beamish right away because then it's unfair on the Beamish if it's kind of gone too long. So that just looks beautiful. Serious, perfect size head. Not even, don't even need to comment on the glass. It's just perfectly clean. Um, so yeah, they were poured perfectly anyway. That's all I can say. Slide your lads. Oh, 
it's fucking lovely as well. It's funny, I think like, that's what I was saying before, I did the, I was here in 2021, went around to like four pubs, had the best Guinness around Cork City, and then I came to the Castle Inn, and I drank Beamish and Murphy's really quick, don't know if I even finished them, and I kind of just said, I'm not, they, they both taste smoky. I was looking back on the review, kind of head in my hand. It's been 18 months since that review. I like to think my palate has developed a little bit, even though I'd still say I'm a clueless expert, I'd like to think my palate has developed a little bit. I do think the pints, I remember in the Castle Inn because they had the kegs right under the, they had the really short draw, they had the kegs right under the taps, which made the pints probably not as cold as I would have liked them, even though the Guinness was just unbelievably creamy, so I still said it was the best in the city. But possibly the Beamish and the Murphys that I tried then was slightly too warm. These are both quite cold in a good way. And I have to say, initially, fairly into the two of them. I feel like I've just, I'm 30 years old now, lads, uh, turning into more of an old man as every day goes by, and old men love stout. So initially, the Murphys is, is lovely. The kind of whole reason I wanted to do, that inspired this video was, I was doing the blind taste test a few weeks ago with Guinness Island's Edge, Murphys and Beamish, and I got it right. And then I had like, I had to buy six cans of Murphys to do that. And I had these five cans of Murphy sitting there thinking, I'm never going to get through these. And then one random day we had people over, there was nothing else to drink, so I had a, a couple of cans of Murphy's. And I genuinely enjoyed them. So I said, I have to, I don't think I did it justice. I don't think I was fair to the people at Cork by going down and reviewing their stouts at the end of a Guinness video. I have to give it a proper, fair shot. And I have to say, I'm glad I came because these are both lovely. The Beamish, definitely far smokier. I've been known to say in the past that to me, Beamish tastes like a pint of Guinness with 20 cigarettes into it. On reflection, that is a harsh thing to say because I could genuinely drink this. Definitely a stronger flavor than the Murphy's. Just gives me, the Beamish does give me more of that roasted kind of craft beer, kind of craft stout um, aroma, aftertaste, whatever you want to call it. The Murphy's is a little bit easier to drink, I would say. Like if someone had never, if someone was a beer drinker, they'd never drank stout, I think they'd be very turned off with the Beamish. They wouldn't mind the Murphy's. So yeah, they both feel the exact same temperature, quite cold initially, but then they've kind of, when I did drink the first, I got, oh, geez, that is cold. But now they feel like the perfect temperature. Um, I guess it is interesting because I don't have a pint of Guinness in front of me. Uh, I've always said that I like I like Guinness over all of these other ones because Guinness is the most drinkable. It's the most kind of plain, excuse the pun, pint of plain. But I wonder if like, and I'm and I know these are owned by Heineken, but at the end of the day, lads, like I have absolutely no affiliation with Guinness. I have no relationship with Guinness, and I don't. I'm pretty sure, and I don't think I ever will have a relationship with Guinness. And it's not really a goal, it's just, I've said it a million times, people always ask, is it the goal to work with Guinness? No, because Guinness, I've said it a million times, you see my videos, I'm going around, I'm saying F and this, F and that, if a pint isn't great, I will say I don't think it's great. And according to Guinness, you know, Guinness is a very sort of PC, polished, perfect company that think every pint in the world is a 10 out of 10. So I, I get why they wouldn't, why me and them wouldn't work together. So, so yeah, I've no problem going around saying that I like other products because, like I just said, there's absolutely no affiliation. And I wonder, let me sip again. Could it be a case now or going forward as I get older, even long after the Guinness guru is retired, if I'm gonna be, when I'm touch wood, I get to 60. If I'm 60, do I see myself drinking Guinness or do I see myself possibly moving on to one of these because they're a bit, there's a bit more going on. It's like when you're a young lad, you stick to something like Coors Light, because it's plain Jane, it doesn't really taste like that, and you get it down the hatch. You could kind of say, that's kind of like Guinness in the stout world, and then Beamish and Murphy's are like, I don't know, moving from Coors Light onto a beer Marette or something. That's probably the worst analogy of all time, but it's interesting. I've drank so much Guinness over the last four years that I wonder, is my, taste and my taste buds, my palate now kind of ready for something a bit stronger. I still don't think I could drink multiple pints of Beamish. I, I could possibly one day, but right now I'm really liking the Murphys. It's just, it's just 
very drinkable. There's not much of a smokiness to it. Again, lads, I, it's called the Guinness gear. I've never, I've always put my hand up and said I'm not one for terminology and talking about notes and aromas and scents. I just say whether I like something or not. I've bullshitted my way through it for three and a half years now, and I'm not going to start pretending to be some connoisseur. But I guess if you're talking about like chocolatey notes or something, possibly. But I don't. Do you know what? Do you know what the thing about like chocolatey notes is? <clears throat> I only learned recently. Like I would have thought, hand up. I would have thought before if someone said there's there's a chocolatey aroma or a chocolatey note to that stout. I genuinely would have thought there was chocolate in it. Like. There was a bit of a fucking, maybe not a dairy milk, but a bit of cacao or whatever, ground up and mixed into the batch. And then if someone says, ah, oh, smokiness, maybe there was a bit of a smoke. But it's all just, that's all total nonsense. Like, what I learned and what I think is true is that it's just how, the, how much the barley is roasted. If the barley is roasted to a certain extent, then it's a chocolatey note. If it's roasted a bit more, then it's a sort of a smoky roasted note. Do you know what I mean? So the fact that I didn't even know that sort of stuff up until about a month ago shows how much of a guru I really am. But I'm just really enjoying drinking both of these pints. I definitely would say, personally, I prefer the Murphys, but I can see the sort of, I f th th there seems to be a bit more sort of, even the lad behind the bar said he's a beamish man. Um, it's a bit stronger, it's a bit more of a roasted, there's a bit more to it, I would nearly say, even though I prefer the Murphys. But I can see where the passion and the pride for the Beamish comes from, and I love it. I was also told by someone today that Beamish is very much popular in Cork City, and then Murphys is, is more of a West Cork thing. That could be total bullshit, I'm not sure. But going off what the lad behind the bar was saying, that he's a Beamish head, and he's probably from Cork City, maybe that is true. Cork is just a fascinating place, I mean, and I know people, there's the whole joke, people of Cork think Cork is the capital of Ireland, but there is just like so much to the county, and then like I've been in the city twice now, but West Cork is just meant to be absolutely incredible, not just for pints, just for scenery, holidays, all that sort of stuff, so I definitely will get out to West Cork at some stage, uh, hopefully in the summer. I suppose I'll give them a score, what sort of scale is that on? It's not on the Guinness scale, it's just, likelihood to have another and I mean I like I said I could have done this video in Dublin but I wanted to come to the home of these stouts I mean they're literally produced in the Heineken factory a stone's throw away from here the barrels could have been rolled down the road into the back of the pub so yeah man of the people come to where the product is made they look very similar don't they the, maybe the beamish is a tiny bit whiter even with the shtick like they're both kind of sticking from about two thirds down there's very little in it like bubble wise feck all bubbles yeah as much as i like it a hell of a lot better than i did before i still think i'd struggle to get through i'd have two or three pints of beamish and that'd be me but see for some people are like that with guinness i could have a few of them so for me, Mur for me, no, I can't really say it's better, but for me, my personal preference would be Murphy's, but I feel like if I moved to Cork, I could see myself drinking this stuff within a few years. So it's just what you're in. This is, this is a bit stronger, a bit more of a punch to it, but I can see how, why that brings out the sort of passion and the heart on the sleeve stuff from the Corkonians. So yeah, I prefer the Murphys, but Beamish has gone up. They've both gone up hugely in my estimation. I suppose if I have to give a score, that was a beautiful point to Murphys. I'd give the, what did I give the Murphys? An 8.5, I thought it was lovely. And I'd probably give the Beamish maybe a, an eight. I'd give the Beamish an eight, the Murphys an 8.5. That's probably the best point of both that you're gonna get in the world. The lad who served me the pints, I asked him what's the most, or he kind of said like before I even asked, he was like Beamish is the most popular by a mile. And then he said Murphy's and Guinness would be kind of even. But I think that is absolutely beautiful. Murphy's Guru coming soon. Yeah, great success. I'm delighted I came down here lads. The Elbow Pub, real proud cork pub, good tunes on in the background, bit of Johnny Cash. And that's it lads, Murphy's pips it for me in terms of 
what I would prefer, but genuinely enjoyed those two a lot. And like I said, they've both gone up a hell of a lot in my book. Cork, you're not bad.